Why wasn't the moon hungry? Because it was full. Have you ever spent a day at the beach? If yes, then you must have observed the variations in the level of the sea near the shore. This periodic rise and fall of sea levels are called tides. When the water rises to its highest level, covering much of the shore, it's called a high tide. And when the water falls to its lowest level, exposing the shore, it's called low tide. But have you ever wondered what causes these tides? Let's find that out in this Cubebox video. These tides are primarily caused by the gravitational force of the moon. Let's understand how. The earth can be imagined as a sphere surrounded by a layer of the ocean and the moon as another sphere. We know that the earth and the moon are attracted to each other because of gravity. The moon exerts a gravitational pull on the earth on all its sides. For instance, in this position, the moon will not only exert the pull at this point, but also here at the poles and also here at the far end. Amazing, isn't it? But we also know that the closer the two objects are, the more is the gravitational pull they experience. Let's consider these three points, A, B and C, with B being the centre of the Earth. Now, Point A is closer to the moon in comparison to point B. This means that the gravitational pull acting at A is stronger than that at B. Hence, the movement of point A towards the moon will be more than the movement of point B. Thus, the water here will rise like this leading to high tide. At the same time, the gravitational pull acting at point B, that is the centre of the earth, is greater than that at C. Hence, the movement of point B will be more than the movement of point C. We can imagine it like this. This sphere moves leaving the water behind, leading to this bulge or the rise in water level on this side, which is nothing but a high tide. This is how two high tide regions are formed. One at A and the other at C. But how are low tides formed? We know that in the high tide regions, the water level rises and bulges are formed. But from where does the extra water come to increase the level in the high tide regions? Actually, the water rushes out from these regions. As a result of which, the water level falls here and creates low tide regions. In this way, Two high tides and two low tides are formed during the day. Now, we know that the Earth rotates around its axis. Thus, the regions experiencing high tides and low tides keep on changing throughout the day with the Earth's rotation. With this, we've uncovered the mystery behind the formation of tides. But, we know that the Sun also exerts a gravitational pull on the Earth. So, does the sun also cause the formation of tides? Well, that's your cue box to explore. Do not forget to share your findings with us in the comment section below. And if you've learned something new today, do share this video with your friends and family. Bye-bye.